Okay, today is a GoPro hack for the GoPro Hero uh, 5 Black, uh, which is what I have. As you can see on screen, I've stuck an advanced 20 times macro uh, lens on the front of my GoPro. Now, if you set your video to 1080 and narrow, you will get full screen um, depiction. Uh, if you use any wide screens, you just get like a uh, a light in the center with a black surround as if you were looking down a weird telescope so this really only works on 1080 uh, narrow um, I know a lot of you are waiting for videos about magnetism and God and everything else and I'm just going to show you some test footage here and include a little bit because I'm kind of in the middle of making a really big video um, there isn't really much to tell except for one huge surprise um, that surprised even me about magnets and the earth and uh, the pole direction um, just to explain that, let me bring up some more pictures and then we'll get to uh, my macro time-lapse video in a minute. Okay, so what do we have here? And this is just to show you that God helps me in anything I'm doing, whether it's a GoPro ha hack or anything really. So this is apparently the magnetic field of the Earth, which looks the same as a magnet. Well, this can't be true. You ask me, why not? Well, there's this picture. And as we can see, this looks nothing like the rubbish that you have been taught. So now we're gonna go to this picture. And what I'm about to do is overlay my theory drawings and real life um, demonstration of this field. Because I say energy is only going one way from left to right, then out. So it cannot be this picture because this picture that you have been taught is a lie. So let's try the overlays. First off we have a flower. Now let's see what it looks like when we place it with the inertia line right on top of the earth. Now as you can see the general shape plus the inertia line is exactly the same. Now I'm going to do it with uh, the Vatican pine cone which I have said is a symbol of God's power when he shoots out power. It hits an inertial plane and then turns into a pine cone. And so I'm going to overlay the pine cone over this. So this is the Vatican pine cone, which they have no idea what it means either. So now you can see it, symbol of God. Let's turn it sideways. And so as you can see, this is an absolutely perfect representation of energy shooting out of an object, going through the inertia line, creating a pine cone and flower petals and all sorts. So you can all deny that what I'm doing is here and that this is all coincidence, but it's not. All energy travels the same way. It's an inertial plane. And so this is all part of a bigger video showing you that there aren't any poles at all. As you can see, there is nothing up and down here in the picture. So where are the poles? <laughs> there aren't any. They're a byproduct. Okay, so now that I've shown that the theory given to me by God um, is true and I can place it inside anything. Now we're going to have a look at energy entering a magnet because everything's a magnet or matter or flowers or people or rocks. Everything attracts energy because energy attracts matter and matter attracts energy. Energy, uh, matter covers energy and energy moves matter. So now we're going to see the sun come up on a flower which basically is a magnet, same as this pine cone, as is the earth shape magnetosphere. Um, we're going to watch energy enter and the magnet power up. And so <sighs> waveforms spring out and move the leaves. And then uh, <laughs> I'll have to explain this in the next video, which is going to be a huge one, might be an hour long, maybe longer. There are central stamens. This is a different waveform, and I will explain what it is in the next major video. And these come out of horns out of the center. And as according to Habakkuk 3, 4, God is as the light, and from his hand, horns protrude. Jesus is also known as the lily, as described by Solomon. And a lily has stamens sticking out of it, which are rollover halo waves. All of this I will explain later, but now let's watch a magnetic flower accept energy and um, we'll watch its EM field expand and move matter into a magnetic shape. So back to the GoPro, 
This is uh, approximately five millimeters away with the 20 times advanced micro lens, which is just a clip on for like an Apple phone. So if you look up Apple times 20 advanced micro lens, you can get five millimeters away. So energy is coming in. I got up like just after dawn. So energy is going into the petals, which are receivers. The things in the middle there with the white tips, um, they are expulsing energy, whereas the petals are impulsing energy. And so the magnetic field opens, the center pushes out. And then you're gonna see horns appear, which is what is on a magnet and coming out of God's hand. And he is also described as a flower, a lily, which is also seen on the top of a magnet. So this is all pushing matter forward, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is clockwise energy in, counterclockwise energy out, which pushes matter forwards, whereas the clockwise energy in pulls the flower down. Now, my camera cuts out before the end because my battery ran out, um, but I'll just put up a little picture of the final version. But as you can see, everything is expanding because energy is going in. Some people will say, no, well, the water has just been moving and it's become turgid. And it's like, yeah, but electricity moves matter and electricity loves water. So when this ends, I'm going to give you another lesson because some wizards who think they know about magnetism have compared magnetism to a bathtub draining. But all they said was about the water. So here's a very simple, very good lesson for you to understand about a magnet. When water goes down a bathtub and into the drain, what comes out? Because there is action and there is reaction, the only true scientific term. If energy is going in, which is electricity, something must be coming out. So in the bathtub, water is going down the plug hole. What comes out? Air must come out. So if we take the analogy, as I've said, that uh, living energy is the water of life, if water is spinning into the drain hole and air is coming out, the simple analogy of water is electricity and air is electromagnetism proves that energy, electricity and electromagnetism swirl into a drain and out comes a magnetic flare, which in a bathtub would be air bursting out. So there is always an in, there is always an out. Action, reaction, water in, air out, electricity in, electromagnetic flare out. All of this will be fully explained um, in the next video, which is proving a quite a tussle to make um, due to my lethargy uh, about everything, because I've explained everything. So this is probably gonna be my final video after this, when I finally do the, the big one. I might do a few after that, but, um, Basically, I've told you everything. And this final thing, like what I just told you, electricity in, electromagnetism flare out, is perfection. And if you've been following what I've written, um, it may make sense, but it might not make sense because I've also told you now there aren't any poles. There are no poles on a magnet. There is only the inertial plane where energy goes in. So there we go. How to get um, five to six millimeters away from an object using a 20 times uh, lens just stuck to the front of the GoPro and also tons of magnetic theory uh, that I've just given you that has been revealed to me and um, I've kind of proven on screen. So yeah, everything I say is correct because it's based upon energy travel which never changes and nor does God. All right, and finally, uh, one last photo that I wanted to show you. Um, those horns are traveling in opposite direction. One is traveling that way and one is traveling this way. And I drew it years ago and here's the paper. So um, I'm just showing you that I've drawn a load of stuff because I know how it moves and I drew it years ago and I drew it without any information or evidence. But now on screen is both the evidence and the fact that I did it years ago. All right. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ and I show and tell you all the things that he shows me. Thanks a lot. Bye.